So Casey, you just recently got married, mm -hmm. but you took till death do us part the second all others out of your vows. What was the reasoning behind that? I just felt like it's too much pressure on marriage. There's no other time in our lives where we sign a contract that is forever and ever and ever. And I just felt like that was way too much pressure on two people. I think it's part of what makes marriages fall apart and it just wasn't for us. And did you get any negative backlash from family or friends who questioned why you made that move? There wasn't any sort of negative backlash, but there was definitely a few raised eyebrows. But of course on the day, nobody's focused on that stuff. It was still full of love and the intentions are still there. There, we just didn't promise forever. What do you then define as a successful marriage? I think it's love and trust and friendship and all of those things that we hear about being making up a good relationship. But I think for us it was about communication. Putting the time and energy into working on the relationship being good now. So then what are some of the things that you and your husband now do to keep yourselves more mindful and present in the relationship today? We work really hard on communication. So we talk about the good stuff, the bad stuff, the uncomfortable stuff, finances, all of those difficult conversations, even down to like what we want our sex life to be, all of those expectations. <laughs> that was advice from you. <laughs> so I was like, good girl, that's what we need. Yeah. And what do you think about this idea of signing a 10 year marriage contract with that idea that at the nine year mark, you could amicably split or you could sit down and reassess for the next 10 years what you would potentially like the relationship to be. Would that be something that you would have jumped at? Yeah, absolutely. I think that all of those things are really empowering. I think we need to remember that marriage doesn't have to be forever and ever anymore. And I think remembering that we're both going to change as individuals and therefore we'll definitely change as a couple. And so I think those checkpoints are, are absolutely critical rather than just crossing your fingers and hoping for the best. So then what advice do you have if there are people watching this that are engaged, thinking about getting engaged? What would you say to them in terms of them writing their own vows. I think make your own rules. It doesn't matter what anybody else's expectations are of your relationship. Just find what works for you because I think that once you take the pressure off, it gives you more time and more energy to focus on making a really good relationship. And I think that that's probably the, the key to a good marriage. I like that. Hmm.